Assalamu alaikum. So yesterday I was reading the Quran on my live, which I do most evenings. We were reading Surah 37, Al Safat, and came across uh, an account of, um, of Abraham, which differed so much from the account I had learned in the Bible. And you might not think the differences are that great, but they were to me. And I want to share the differences because I think this is something everyone should understand. In the Bible, Abraham received this revelation that he was supposed to sacrifice his son, Isaac. And so he and his son went up to the mountain and um, the son all the while thinking that they were going to sacrifice a lamb. Um, and there was even a, there is even a line in the Bible, which is Isaac said, here is the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? And Abraham replied, the lamb, God will, God will provide for us. And so he misleads his son into believing that they're going to be sacrificing a lamb. So as a child, when I heard this story in Sunday school, I just thought it was terrifying. I mean, your father is tricking you. Your father's going to kill you because he received word from God that that's what he was supposed to do. And you don't even know what's happening as a child. And I, of course, was a child at the time, so this was scary, right? So when I read the accounting in the Quran, let me read Ayah 103. 102, I'm sorry. When he had become old enough to partake of his father's endeavors, Abraham said, oh, my son, I see while dreaming that I am to sacrifice you. Okay, so right there, he's telling his son about his dream. And remember, prophets' dreams are actually portents of the future. They're actually saying what's going to happen. So consider, what do you see? And he replied, the son, oh, my father, do as you are commanded. You will find me, God willing, among those who are patient. Do So he was all in. He not only knew what had been commanded, but he himself was a willing participant in, what, in, in submitting his, his will to Allah's. Um, this resonates completely differently for me because he and his father together are going up the mountain. There's no struggle. There's no trickery. There's no misleading, they together have decided that they are going to follow the will of God and go up the mountain. And he even, I, there's, a, there's some history that says that he was the one, the son was the one who said, put me on my forehead so you don't see my face, so that you're not dissuaded from doing what Allah has commanded you to do. To me, that's just 